Hello and welcome to Optin Monster. We make it easy to create campaigns that convert your website traffic into leads and customers. In this video, I'll show you how to create your first Optin Monster campaign. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Now, let's get started. I'll begin with the assumption that you've already installed the Optin Monster WordPress plugin and connected your site with your Optin Monster account. If not, check out our video and documentation on this topic. Optin Monster offers several campaign types to help you craft targeted offers. You can select from pop up, floating bar, full screen, inline, slide in, and if you have a growth subscription, gamified. For this example, I'll choose pop up. Next, you can choose a template from the hundreds of designs that are proven to convert and simply edit the copy and configure the display rules to meet your specific needs, or select a campaign from our Playbooks library. With Playbooks, we've completely taken the guesswork out of campaign creation. We studied the conversion strategies of the most successful, inspiring brands in the world, then replicated those strategies for you in our well-designed, pre-configured campaigns. Each playbook showcases the original source of inspiration and the real-world proven results our customers generated through its implementation. For new users, we'll present you with recommendations for your particular category and goal based on the answers you provided during the onboarding survey. However, you can also filter and search for specific playbooks too. Now, the great thing about playbooks is that they truly are plug and play. We've created the design, written the copy, and configured the display rules for you. All you have to do is select Use Playbook, check the campaign notes section to see what specific areas you need to personalize, and you're ready to publish. The best part is, playbooks are available for all subscription plans. If your subscription doesn't include the powerful rules used in the suggested playbook, we'll automatically replace those rules with the best option available. For today's example, I'll head back over to the template library and select a campaign there. When browsing the campaign templates, you can use the filter to help narrow your options. For this example, I'll select the basic template. You can click Preview to see an example, or click Use Template to select it. Next, give the campaign a descriptive title and click Start Building. When you enter the builder to edit your campaign, you'll see the design view. The three views you can customize are Yes No, which is optional and allows you to create a two step opt in, the opt in view, which is where you customize the form and collect your visitors' information, and the success view, which is shown to visitors after they complete the opt in form. From the footer menu, you can also import a view from this campaign or any of your other campaigns, switch to editing another campaign, and edit the campaign's details. You can edit text in line and drag and drop other elements, such as images, buttons, and countdown timers, to name a few, onto your campaign. Simply point and click to edit any block, and the menu on the left will update so you can make changes. For example, when you edit the form fields block, you can customize the form to collect all the information you need from your leads. For complete details, check out our documentation. I've left a link in the description. Next, head over to Display Rules. This is where you configure when, where, and for whom your campaign will appear on your site. Under conditions, you can use AND and OR operators to create your rule sets. If your rules are all connected by AND, then all conditions must be met for the campaign to appear. However, if you have a group of rules connected with OR, the campaign will appear when any one of the conditions are met. There are countless display rule configurations you can create, and you can create simple or complex rule sets based on your specific needs. For complete details, check out our documentation. I've left a link in the description. When you're finished setting your display rules, head over to Integrations. This is where you will connect Optin Monster with your email service provider. If you've already set up a default integration in your account settings, you'll see it here. Otherwise, you can search for your provider and connect to it now. We've provided a link to our documentation for the instructions on connecting to your specific integration. If you don't have an email marketing service set up, you can connect to Monster Leads, our in-house lead storage system, which allows you to get started gathering leads. In fact, even if you have an email marketing service, we recommend connecting Monster Leads as a backup to your email service provider. After you've connected your integration, you'll need to map any fields you added to your opt-in form beyond the default name, email, and phone fields, which are mapped to the default fields in your email service provider automatically. Now, each provider handles this a bit differently, but again, We've documented all those details and conveniently linked to the article specific to your provider here. After you've set up your email service provider, head over to Analytics. This is where you connect your campaigns to Google Analytics for more advanced analytics data. 
Optin Monster Analytics will automatically track basic analytics data, such as impressions, conversions, and highest converting pages. And finally, head over to Publish. This is where you'll do a final review of all the details of your campaign and publish it to your site. Check the right columns checklist for any gray circles next to items, letting you know that something is missing or may need to be fixed before publishing. If everything looks good, click Publish and then click Save. Next, close the builder to return to the Output Settings page in the Optin Monster for WordPress plugin. You can further target where your campaigns appear using the advanced settings. Remember that your campaign must meet all of the conditions you set and display rules, as well as the conditions you select in the output settings, before it can appear. When you're finished configuring your output settings, select who should see the campaign, all visitors or only logged in visitors under visibility and status, change the status from draft to published, and click save changes. And that's it. We've successfully created and launched our first Optin Monster campaign. If you have any questions, browse through our helpful documentation, or for further assistance, you can submit a support ticket and we'd be happy to help.